Let's have a look at the following example when the Goodwill account is not maintained. Daisy and Anna are in a partnership sharing their profits and losses in the ratio of the capital invested. Their capital balances at the 1st of March 2019 were as follows. Daisy had a balance of 162,000 and Anna had a balance of 108,000. Now on the same date the partners decided to admit a new partner Chris under the following conditions. Number one Daisy, Anna and Chris will share the profits and losses equally. Number two Chris will transfer 120,000 to the business's bank account as capital. And number three, Goodwill was valued at 9,000 Nobian dollars and will not be maintained in the books. So now what's required is to prepare the following accounts in the ledgers of the partnership. The Goodwill account and the capital accounts of the partners. Now there are some things that you need to pay attention to. They are the goodwill amount, the old ratio, the new ratio, and whether goodwill will be maintained or not. Now let's have a look at the information again and compare it to the things that we need to pay attention to. So these are the four things and these are the three points that we need to take into consideration. So first we'll have a look at the goodwill amount and that is the 9000 that is at number three. The second thing we need to look at is the old ratio and this will be calculated by the capital invested from Daisy and Anna. The third thing we need to look at is the new ratio and that shows at number one where Daisy, Anna and Chris will share profits and losses equally. And lastly we need to know whether the goodwill account will be maintained or not and at number three it says it will not be maintained in the books. So a reminder the goodwill account will not be maintained so on the debit side of our goodwill account we will divide the goodwill amount in the old ratio and on the credit side we will divide the goodwill amount in the new ratio. So calculating the old ratio will be as follows. For Daisy her capital balance is 162,000 and her capital balance plus Anna's capital balance will give you a total of 270,000 multiplied by the 9,000 that is the goodwill amount which will give us 5,400 for Daisy. Anna's capital balance is 108,000 over 270,000 multiplied by the goodwill amount which is 9,000 and that will give us 3,600 dollars. Now we need to calculate the new ratio and the new ratio does not only contain Daisy and Anna but it also contains Chris. So how will we do this? We will say 9,000 divided by 3. Why divide by 3? Because profits and losses are shared equally. There are three members each member will have an equal share so we need to divide the 9000 by 3. So each member at the end of the day will get 3000 Namibian dollars. So this is how our general ledger transactions will look like. Let's have a look at them in more detail. Firstly let's have a look at the goodwill account. When good now when goodwill is not maintained the goodwill account is closed off so there will be no balance brought down and as you can see there's no balance brought down. 
On the debit side, you have Anna and Daisy's goodwill that was calculated in the old ratio. And on the credit side, you have Anna, Daisy's and Chris's goodwill that was calculated in the new ratio. Now, if we have a look at Daisy's capital account, you will see that the goodwill amount is on the credit side of Daisy's account and it's on the debit side of the goodwill account. And also the second transaction where the goodwill is closed off, it was entered on the credit side on the goodwill account and on the debit side of Daisy's account. If we look at Anna's capital account, you can see on the debit side of the goodwill, we have a transaction of 3600 and that will be on the credit side of Anna's capital account. And the second transaction in the goodwill account for Anna is on the credit side to close off the goodwill account. Therefore, to complete the double entry, Anna will get a debit transaction of 3000 And finally, Chris's account, the only entry related to Goodwill for Chris will be on the credit side of the Goodwill account due to the new ratio and Chris's capital account will be debited by 3000 Please take note the 120000 on the credit side of Chris's capital account was the amount contributed by Electronic Fund Transfer or EFT. So now there's some things to note. Goodwill is a non-current asset. When a Goodwill account is not maintained in the books, Daisy and Anna will be giving away or losing their share of goodwill to Chris in the new profit or loss sharing ratio. And that we have seen. Daisy is losing 2400 because without Chris her goodwill is 5400 but now Chris is in the business she has only 3000. Anna is losing 600 Nobian dollars because without Chris her goodwill is 3600. But now with Chris in the business, it's only three thousand Namibian dollars. Now Chris is gaining three thousand Namibian dollars in goodwill for free, which means he didn't work for it over the years like Daisy and Anna. Now the question you might ask, is this fair? Well, no. So now we need to decrease the capital account of Chris worth the 3000 Namibian dollars. You need to charge him for the advantage of goodwill which he gained unfairly.